How's it going guys? My name is Samuel Plug. I'm a master BMW technician with about 14 years of experience. I used to do technical support for Opus IBS for independent shops all across the country, fixing BMWs over the phone or remotely via scan tools. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through priming the oil circuit on an N55 engine. This is something that's really important to do if you disturb anything with the oil circuit. It could be an oil filter housing gasket, vano solenoids, a timing chain repair, um or you know the engine wasn't primed from doing the oil filter housing and then ended up needing an engine this is something that you'd want to do to prevent that from happening again i do have a video um, that i'm going to post up here in a little bit too that shows uh what these engines will do if you do not prime them they make terrible noises and i apologize for the uh, little bit of wind noise but let's get into this all right so i'm going to start with putting our oil filter back in Or, yeah, just ripped apart just for media purposes. Okay, this guy up. All right, and in order to do this, what we're going to do, there's a uh, connector here in the back. Just set the phone down. The last DME connector that is closest to the firewall is the one that you want to pull. It's the only one that's got a slider on it. We've got this guy off now. We just push it off to the side a little bit. And removing this disables all of the fuel injectors and ignition coils. So it will not prime when, or it will not start. And that's how we're going to prime it. In here, I've got the tool on already. Go to DME. We don't have to do this, but it does show if you really want to see some oil pressure on the scan tool. Right now, we're reading about a thousand hecopastels. And now that we know that the DME connector has been removed for the ignition coils and fuel injectors, the car is not going to start. So, we're going to do this three times. And you want to give the starter a break for about 10 seconds in between. There will be some lights that come up. To, don't panic. One more. 10 seconds. Give the starter a break. Also show on here too, on this tool. We give the starter a break. We'll pull up the oil pressure again. We were at a thousand he hecopascals earlier. <laughs> it's reading the same, but we'll do one crank in. As you can see, it does rise up. I'm going to do it a little longer. And as you can see here, the car does have oil pressure, so it is going to be safe to start after this. We've done this about three times. If you do a brand new engine or, you know, timing chain or something like that, I do like to do this for about three times. Give it a break, go do something else, and come back and do it in like 20 minutes or so. Or go to lunch, come back, prime it some more just to be sure. Especially on 2010 or 11 N55 engines, they are extremely temperamental. And the purpose of doing this all is to make sure that we're not starting the engine dry. And if we do, we can damage the rod bearings. Get my DME connector back on here. And it's easy to remember, it's just the one that's closest to the firewall. And it's the only one that's got a slider on it. It's giving me a hard time going back in. Alright, now that I got that thing back in there, as you can see here, my hand is back here. I'll move these wires all the way so you can see this a little better, but the connector that we remove is this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and push this guy back down all the way. Make sure that it's locked in place. Alright, it's not coming off. And the clip is in all the way. Bring this down here. 
your slider. Put this thing focus. There's this connector right here with the slider that we just removed. Now that that's back on, make sure that it clicked in place. And we are ready to fire. Do one key cycle. Back on. Clear any codes. These are just all activation codes for the injectors because we had the harness off. The code free. Fire in the hole. And as you can see here now, engine's all primed up. And there you have it folks, that is how to prime the oil circuit on an N55 engine. This is a 2018 X5, but the same goes for anything that's got an N55 motor in it. Could it be a 3 Series, 5 Series, anything with an N55 in it, this is how you prime the oil circuit. Uh, to, I am going to have some videos coming soon on the N20 and the B motors. Um, I'm going to be doing one here on the Mini Cooper. I'm also going to be doing one on a B58 and a G05 X5 here soon. And to wrap this video up, I'm going to share a video a buddy of mine sent that uh, one of the junior techs had done an oil filter housing on a same X5, a little bit older than mine, and they didn't prime the oil circuit, and this is what happened. And thanks again for taking the time to watch my videos. There'll be more coming soon. You guys have a good rest of your day.